You just think you're all that, don't you? You think that you can get away with even the small, obvious things all around you. But you're not. And this is a reason of how screwed this generation is. My main experience has been communication, and it still is. I have pointed that out to quite a number of people, and they seem to not get it. They either still continue to ignore or come out and say that I am the bad guy. This is for anybody. And I have been told that a relative of mine is going through the same thing as me and it's no different. She go through it too. So ever since, so the day she told me about it, now I understand it way more because it's been happening longer than I can recall, even before I knew the term ghosting. So for all of you out there, this is how ignorant you are. When you're told, even for small, small things like that, which are important, you don't want to fess up to it, but that's your fault because all we're trying to do is help you see your way of communication when you connect with someone. If you can't do that, why bother to ask to be their friend? And that's your problem if you don't get the point. My point, I should say, too, even though you may see it different ways or word it differently, but it's all the same point. This is for anybody out here. Whether if you call or text me, if you cannot come later or go back, do not say those words because that brings people's hopes up. And then those words never come. See you soon. Call you back. Call you later. They never come. At least there are a few people who do have some decency towards that to any small group of people. And it can be relatives too, unfortunately. But again, do not say soon, later, or call you back, any of those, if you know you cannot make it. Because that's a habit I've had, like, got my hopes up, and then, like, I'll be waiting for people, and they don't come. So, I am going to simply do what y'all do to me. I'm going to ghost as well. Maybe now you'll see how it feels to be ignored. Because I don't ignore, but I will do it. So figure out the problem yourself, and if you're going to keep doing that, then you don't deserve friends at all, because communication is key. So if you're all you're going to do is ghost someone when you befriend them, why bother to ask to be their friend if you're not going to talk? It's a two or multi-side party. It's not supposed to be one-sided. That's unhealthy. That's almost as bad as a toxic relationship. I'm even I'm even upset at myself for having to repeat this to everybody. When I'm saying it all out here. I just hope that it will raise more awareness to people like me. Because I feel like I am one of the very few people who realizes and understands this of this generation. Even though it could be anybody like this, but... I've seen it with this generation, even with friends I talk to. They only respond either when I reach out or when they feel like it. In ways, I'll say they take ages to respond. Because for all of you who are on your phones like 24-7, there is no way you can miss a call or message. There is no way you can't even spend five minutes to say hello to somebody. I at least try to make times with it. And then I say whether if I can or can't I don't just leave like how rude can people how, how rude and ignorant can people be like keep people updated like why haven't you called why haven't you texted? where have you been the past three weeks or days or months like that sh hopes are just broken like that so I would suggest if people do that constantly, if you notice a pattern, don't befriend them anymore. I would say explain it to them once of what they do, but if they still don't get it, don't even bother. Just don't talk to them. Delete their number or do not disturb them or any of that, but 
I would say if they don't listen after one reprimanding, do not keep them in your contacts or talk to them. If they reach out, then that's on them. But I personally wouldn't respond to them because I know they would do the same thing if they keep doing it. Just like with certain relationships, when you break up and then they call you back, they say they're drunk and alone. No, there's also prideful and nosy people out there. So I would not trust that. I don't do any of these things, but I can do it. But what have I done to deserve this? All of you guys, especially those who are on their phones, tablets, or laptops almost every day there is no way you can be too busy to not respond to a call or text it's ridiculous what can you have in your life that's so important to miss even a simple hello or a call just to check on you check up on people every once in a while and just maybe the other person who you ghost they will do that as well it's simple if you can't do any of that, then that's your problem. So those of you out there, get your get your communications checked because this is ridiculous. You need to see huge experiences and examples of this because they're all around you. I can't even name how many people, but I feel like I'm a few because I only know a few people who go through the same as me. And out of everyone I talk to, only one person has admitted that they're bad at communication. I knew this before she told me this, and she still does it. One of those that takes ages to respond. But I'm literally tired of repeating myself, and I'm only saying this once. And I hope everyone who sees and hears this understands this and is aware that they can share this to other people, but... Hopefully you do just share this out to everybody, but again, it's your problem if you cannot comply with what's going on or anything I just said, because I don't know how else to help you. I don't know what else to say or how else to word it, but this is a sad thing about this generation. And I just hope more than just a few besides myself understands this.